Hey guys, it's Tanya with Thrifty Treasures. And today I thought I would do a little bit of vlogging with you guys. So I just got to the storage unit and I'm about to go inside. Um, I already printed out my shipping label uh, for a padded uh, flat rate and I just need to run inside and get a purse slash bag that I sold. Okay, this is out of control. We are going to have to move these. These need to be in our attic at home, not in my storage unit. All the seasonal stuff has got to go. The storage unit really just needs to be for my eBay stuff. So we are gonna have to do some rearranging for sure. I need to get a light in here. I can hardly see anything. Okay, so now I'm on my way to Starbucks and I really don't have a lot of time this morning because I have to pick my son up from school about 11:15 um, ish around there. He has uh, an orthodontist appointment this morning, so he's got to get some new wires, get his braces uh, tightened up. So, um, but I wanted to let you guys know it's now February, so hopefully soon, within a week or two, I will be getting out my February eBay sales update. And also, I want to be do want to do a video on selling bigger items on eBay because, um, as some of you may know. I recently closed down my second antique booth. I still have my first one. Um, hopefully I'll always have that one, Lord willing, unless I just um, become disabled or something and can't make it out there. But um, it's really inexpensive for me to have and I just love it. It's so much fun. But anyway, I digress. Uh, so when I closed the second antique booth, there was a lot of bigger items um, that I was unable to sell so I need to find a way to move those and I put a lot of them on local uh, garage sale sites but they're just not moving so I thought I tried on eBay and I'm going to do a um, like a local pickup like I don't really want to ship it so I'll put it on eBay and do with local pickup only and we'll see what happens so I'm gonna pick out like about five or six big items and I'm hoping to bring you guys a video on that uh, early next week so um, We'll see. And now I'm stuck in this lovely traffic. Oh. <laughs> Still on my way to Starbucks, but it's a beautiful day. Look how gorgeous it is. And the temperature is about 61 degrees. We had a little cold front come through last night. So it's a gorgeous day. Goodwill. I'll be back in a minute. We got to get our Starbucks first. Finally made it. Hi, good morning. Thanks for choosing Lake City Starbucks. What can we get started for you? Hi, can I please get a double smoked bacon cheddar sandwich? Let me check on that to make sure we have it. Oh. Yes, we do. Is Yay. there going to be a drink with that today? Uh, no, thank you. Okay, 513. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, that is my absolute favorite sandwich right now. I have to have one at least once or twice a week. <laughs> you guys got to try that one. And finally made it to Goodwill. This one, you guys, this Goodwill is my honey hole. It's about two miles from my house. So, and it's just right by the post office, so I'm here almost every day. Okay guys, real quick, the point of me showing you those ties was, um, I thought that maybe one of them was gonna be worth some money, but it turned out it wasn't any money. And holy moly, did the prices on ties at Goodwill go up or what? I can remember when the ties were just $1.99 and now they're like three, what did I, what did it say? Like three forty nine. dollars that's bananas. Um, but if it's a tie worth some good money, then I guess, you know, it's definitely worth it. 
And the other reason I picked up those ties is because um, a lot of times the Vineyard Vines and also the Salvatore Ferragamo, they, um, they will have those designs where it's like a whole bunch of like an animal or um, some kind of a print, but it's real tiny and it's a whole bunch of them. And um, so whenever I see prints like that, I always pick them up to look and see if they're a really um, good brand. But those weren't, I didn't end up getting either one of those, but um, I just wanted to show you guys why I picked them up. Okay, real quick, I'm gonna show you what I picked up inside that Goodwill. I didn't get a ton of stuff, but I did get a couple items. So this caught my eye here. It's a really cute little beanie style hat and I paid $1.99 for it. And I did a quick search on eBay, sold, completed. And I'm gonna probably ask about $20 for this. So um, I will insert my search, search results so you can see. And then I picked up this towel. It's a, um, let me show you, checkers towel. And it has a brand on it here. It's by J. Franco. And also did another quick search. And I'm going to ask probably about the $25 for this towel. And I paid $2.50 for it. Um, so that's that. Let's see what else. I got a couple uh, blank uh, cassette tapes so that my little girl can play with a cassette player. Um, let's see what else. I got a DVD. Uh, I'm going to put this probably up on Amazon. I'm hoping to get at least $10 for it. I paid two. Um, I also got a handful of books that I'm going to flip. They're all pretty pretty uh, small returns. Most of them are less than $10, but when I only paid $0.99 cents for a book, that's still a good flip. So off to the next stop. Oh my goodness, look at that cute little red Forerunner. I need that in my life. It's so cute. I love it. I'm going to check my P.O. box. Drop my packages. Pulling up to St. Christopher's Thrift. Now, the first of the month, they always put their clothes on sale for a dollar. Hang on, y'all. Bear with me, this camera. I got to squeeze in this spot real quick. So I try to get around over here around the first of the month uh, so I can check out what clothes they have for a dollar. So let's go see what they got. Good morning. Hi there. Good morning. Good morning. Okay guys, real quick, I'm going to show you everything that I got inside St. Christopher's. I spent $12.96, so not a ton of money, but I got a lot of stuff, so I'm going to show you. So I picked these up. Aren't they cute? And look at the inside. I just love them. I'm going to be keeping these for me, unless they're worth a ton of money. But um, let me tell you who they're by. And I got uh, four of these little saucers like this. And the back says Royal Stafford's. Staffing, something like that. Dinnerware by Clarice Cliff, made in England. And I guess the pattern is called Rural Scene. Let me show you. So I love it. It's so cute. I love the vintage dishes like this. And then, so I've got, I got four like this. And I got two of the cups. And, oh, and I got, oops, he almost got one. <laughs> two of these uh, little saucers like this and they sit on there like that so pretty I love it so now they did have a couple other pieces there that I didn't get they're like $10 each um, 
think one was a sugar bowl and the other one was like a gravy boat with a lid. And um, I don't know, once I get home and look this stuff up, it, it's worth a lot of money. I'll probably go back tomorrow and get the other stuff if it's still there. But um, I figured out a lot of this stuff was marked individually, like a dollar on the plates. And the two cups were uh, two cups for four dollars. But she had already started wrapping everything. And um, she was like, are these all priced individual? And I said, I think that they are. And she goes, well, how about $5 for everything? So I was like, okay. <laughs> yes, please. Thank you. So I was excited about that. And I got these uh, Diane Von Furstenberg. I have no idea if they're going to be worth any money or not, but they're only a dollar. Some little brown loafers. They're size six and a half. Uh, but, you know, so for one dollar, I mean, I recognize that name. She's a really famous uh, designer. So thought I'd pick that up. And then let me show you the clothes that I got. So I got seven pieces of clothing. Now, if I don't actually get around to listing this stuff, I can always send it to Thread Up. And so I've made some money doing Thread Up. I have a video on that too if you guys want to um, go check it out. And all these clothes, all this clothing was a dollar each. So here's a Michael Kors skirt. It's a size eight. It's a real pretty blue and white floral pattern skirt. So I got that. And I picked up these uh, black denim Rocky jeans. Now this is like country and western attire. Um, and trust me, I went through a stage wearing these in my uh, cowgirl boots. These jeans are expensive. So, um, yeah, and I'm not even sure about the size. It says they're extra small, uh, 27 slash 5. So, yeah, Rockies. <laughs> and I got this pretty black skirt. And it is by Lauren Jeans Company, Ralph Lauren. And it's a size 8. Hope you guys enjoy seeing the clothes I picked up. Like when I watch other people's haul videos, I always love to see the clothes they pick up. So, and then I picked up this uh, Coldwater Creek black and white skirt. It's real pretty. And it is a size, it's a size medium. Now this one, I wasn't sure really about the brand, but I thought it was really unique. It's by Mamie, Mamie Ruth. There's the tag. And it's a size large, little tank top. Thought it was really cute. Um, picked up a pair of uh, black casual pants for me. <laughs> and then the last piece I got is by Chico's. It's a size zero short. Um, and it's like uh, velour, like a velour material, that super soft material. Pants. Uh, so I'll probably pop these up on eBay, but like I said, if I don't have time, I can always send a box of stuff to thread up and they can sell it for me. So I hope that you guys enjoyed my haul or my vlog this morning, my ride along. And um, it's getting close to 11 o'clock, so I need to start heading to my son's school and pick him up and get him over to the orthodontist office. So I hope everybody has a great day. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video and share it with your friends and we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye! Okay, real quick. Um, I said I had a video on Thread Up, but I don't. I am losing my damn mind, seriously. <laughs> That's what happens when you get to be 45. You know, you start having to wear readers whenever you're reading stuff and looking at things, and you start saying things that don't make sense. <laughs> so just expect it, okay? Um, but no, I do not have a video on Thread Up. I have sent stuff to Thread Up, and I would like to bring you guys a video on that soon. But um, what I meant to say was I have a video on swaps. So check out the video on swap. I will link it so you can got, you guys can go um, look at that video. But um, I've had a lot of luck with them and uh, I enjoy selling on swap. And I'm probably going to be getting a bag, I meant a bag, a box together soon and uh, send them some more stuff. And I might as well make a video on that too. So um, if you guys would like to see that, uh, be sure and let me know in the comments down below.